Now I gotta teach a class in about 30 minutes, but I felt like I had to hop on here real quick just to give y'all the real. I really wanted to expose the dark side of trading because there's so much that goes into this, bro. I'm telling you, this gets dark, bro. You feel me? I could talk about psychology. I could talk about market manipulation. I could talk about those nights you up all night just giving in to fear and doubt. Bro, I'm telling you, this gets dark, bro. You feel me? But I thought since this is the first installment, I might as well tailor this to the beginners, the ones that are just starting out their journey. Because I remember when I first started, bro all right man i thought i knew it all i was like man all the information is on the internet and it is but how do you know where to start how do you know where to go you feel me you start getting information and, and you know bits and pieces from different people but you end up getting lost you feel me like that's just why people have senseis you feel me like you need to have somebody that can guide you and put you on the right path so that way you can go your own way formulate your own plan because you need to form a profitable plan but that takes time you feel me i'm trying to tell this to the beginner so i can save you time and save you money you feel me because i remember when i first started bro i was doing with indicator only strategies i was trying naked forex i was trying so many different strategies bro and it wasn't working bro i was losing thousands cumulative you feel me like it would just start to pile up you feel me you think you're only losing a few hundred here and there but you losing thousands bro you feel me you think you too good to spend a couple hundred on somebody's course but it's just like yo I'm not going to lie. Like, you don't think it's worth it to invest in somebody six, seven, eight years of experience that they packaged for you? Now, you can't just go anywhere. You feel me? Because some mentors make it seem more complicated than others. You feel me? You need to find somebody that you relate to. Somebody that's able to break it down for you in an easy, simple way for you to understand to put you on the path of success. And that's why I really fuck with my mentor, Q Banks. He's a super successful trader, one of the top traders in Miami, in my city. You know what I'm saying? This man owns multiple SVJs, multiple Ferrari Pistas. He has his own prop firm. He's withdrawing six-figure profits regularly. Like, he's made it. You feel me? And one thing I loved about his course is that he broke it down in such a simple way. You feel me? He didn't give us all the fluff. He gave us the very core concepts that you need in order to actually understand the market just to the point where you can actually formulate your own plan with all the tools that he gives you you feel me and that's why i really fuck with him that's the same way i like to teach my students like i'm about to teach them in 30 minutes you feel me if you're not in the school of god just click that link in the description you know what i'm saying but i like to make sure i just give people the real i give people the real game the core concepts all you need i keep it simple break it down real simple and relatable you feel me because i don't like when these people be using all these over complicated words like it's going to deter you from trading actually you know what i'm saying and that's what like i said like yeah the information is on youtube but some people make it more complicated than it needs to be exhibit a ict premium basis would be up here the last up close candle which would be a bullish order block and again we're getting a little rich with the uh objectives in terms of premium now but i just want to show you how you would just keep walking out with this and then we have somewhat of a fair value gap in here as well so we could identify that. So there's all of our premium arrays. A premium what? A fair what? Fair value get what? What is he? Yo, listen. Over here at the School of Gods, we keep it real simple. Now you've all heard the concept that the past repeats itself, right? So all I need to know is where the past is on the forex chart. You feel me? Where the people sell in the past? Where the people buy in the past? You feel me? So red, the red candles are the sellers. The green candles are the buyers. So all I need to do is just know. Okay, bet the farther left I go, the more in the past I go. So if I look at my charts, in the past people sold here. So I'm just going to draw a little box right here and drag that out into the future. I see people. Oh, people bought here. People bought here. People bought here. So I'm going to just draw a little, you know, draw a little box right here. Make that green. And I see people bought here as well. People bought here. Okay. Bet. And, you know, I keep it color coded because I want to make sure my subconscious gets used to seeing that green equals buy, red equals sell. That's it. The upside, so we have a shift in market structure and a fair value gap. So any retracements back down into that, look at the bodies. So it's telling you it's respecting this buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency or fair value gap. Going into two o'clock, we rallied and we created a small little fair value gap there. The market drops down into that before taking out the relative equal highs, buy side liquidity and or returning back to a premium sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. I thought about it. <laughs> Yo, what?
<laughs> that boy know that shit hurt to say, bro. I don't even know what that nigga just said, bro. Listen, over here at the school of guys, this is how we like to explain it. You feel me? So I see people bought here in the past. People bought here in the past. People even bought here in the past. So let's just draw a green box next to this <laughs> but now that we're at this green box this is an area where we're most likely going to see some buyers pop in the market wow isn't it so simple support and resistance i have support right here we jump off support that's it we were trading in this little area here. I said we would likely draw down into this buy side and balance, then go higher. We did that very thing here. That run is going to be initialized by a institutional order flow entry drill. And that's a tongue twister. That's why I, I labeled it an IOFED, which is an abbreviation of institutional order flow entry drill. It's a partial entry to a fair value gap, whether it be a buy side and balance, sell side and efficiency, or a sell side and balance, buy side and efficiencies. An institutional order flow entry drill. Do you think a beginner trader wants to hear intra? I don't even know what he just said. I forgot what he said already. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. So, what tends to happen is that when we have a break of resistance, like I see that we had sellers right here, which formed a ceiling. You feel me? Because we kept hitting our head here. When we break it and we come back to it, what tends to happen is is this becomes a place where buyers start to pop in. So the ceiling becomes a support, becomes a floor, and we bounce up from it. That's it, that's it. So we have an intermediate term low, which is a low that has a low that's lower than the previous short term low and lower than the higher low here. So there's three points, okay? Just like this is an intermediate term low here, this is an intermediate term low as well because it has to the left of it a higher low and a higher low. STL is a short term low. LTL is a long term low. ITL is an intermediate term low. Yeah, so at the School of Gods, um, this is called a head and shoulders pattern. You want to look for these around at <laughs> key levels, you feel me? So you want to look left once again. Oh, buyers popped in right here. So I would draw a box right there. And, you know, I would say, okay, bet this is a place where I'm looking for buyers to pop back into the market, right? So then I would look for a head and shoulders pattern. Head and shoulders just means that we have a shoulder, a head, and then another shoulder right here and then the market just shoots up you feel me and this was all caused by this buy side and balance sell side efficiency <laughs> just, listen bro like no hate the high ct you feel me if you're getting your bread you're getting your bread you know what i'm saying so like it doesn't matter what you want to use but i just like to keep things simplistic there's a reason why i fuck with anime so heavy and there's a reason why like i fuck with asian culture so heavy as you can see my room is very inspired by Asian culture. You know what I'm saying? So I got a samurai in the back right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love Asian culture. They keep things minimalistic because you don't need all these complications in life. You keep it as very simple as possible. You understand the core concepts. And then all you have to do is just live life as simple as possible. You feel me? Instead, but if y'all really want to go ahead and learn like that i guess you feel me but here at the school of gods if you click that link in the description i'm gonna teach you the core concepts i'm gonna teach you candles because everything comes from these candlesticks you feel me so i'm gonna teach you how these candles work how these candles form support and resistance how they form trends how they form these patterns why they do that and then you understand every core concept of the market and be able to do anything you want in the market you feel me but if that's too simple for you if you don't like simplicity if you don't want it to be as easy as possible and you want to make your life harder then shit let's try to balance this out efficiency nigga.